That's right, that's right. So yeah. Back with another gameplay of choices. Make that date. Make that date. Make that date. Make that date. Book one. Chapter one. Make that date. VIP exclusive. Looking for love? Then New York's hottest dating show has your solution. Who's behind doors one, two, and three? One, two, and three. I don't know, but we're going to find out. I just wanted to come through and just play. Because at least I don't know about starting any new stories right now. I just saw this fully release. It made me feel good because it made me feel like the vibes. Back when they first started with um, places, they would have like just mini, mini shows. And they still do it, but not like, not like how it was. Not how like it was before. I'm telling you, like, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about, but they they get back to it, Sarver. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, if you know, welcome to me. Just learning as I go. At this, that's all it is. That's all it is. Hit the like button. Share the video. Comment down below if you are a choice. And or you know check other videos if you do that's fine it's handy so without further ado thank you for joining Vigilante Squad 2 I'm, I'm so hyped up for the story that I have to see um, <laughs> thank you for supporting Vigilante Squad Hello, everybody, and welcome to Make That Date! <laughs> That's right, the game show where we help lucky singles try to make a love connection. I'm here with the newest contestant of LA's hosted dating game. Not gems. <laughs> gems. What's your last name? I'm gonna restart that back over. Pardon? Gems. Jordan Gems is here looking for love. Isn't that right, Jordan? Go on and give the camera a wave. Nothing to be shy about. A person. <laughs> Let me see what they got in the person. I'm gonna go with this. Wait, there's, oh, I thought there was a dirt body type. You know, thick. <laughs> That's just a face, baby. I'm just, I just. I'm 
so I'll be so picky with this. I'll be the main one who be picky and complaining. Ugh. I just feel like why all the skin tones look a little bit, a little bit ash. It's like why they don't get no lotion on or nothing. Why they look a little bit dry? Like they need some water. That's all I'm saying. Like. Need some water. Dehydrating and yeah. <laughs> Let me just choose. Great, I love it. Let's go. The audience erupted to applause, and the camera plans to you. Thanks for the warm welcome, Carson. I'm as excited as I am nervous. Nothing at all to be nervous about, Jordan. Before we get into our game, tell us what are you most excited about getting out of this experience? I can't wait to uh, make a love connection. Honestly, put myself out there. The only reason I'm here is because my friend dared me to apply. I thought it was about time I took a few risks, you know? I'm glad you did. You went for a wild ride. <laughs> now let's introduce. Now let's introduce the rules of our game behind each of these door three doors. Each of these three doors. He gestures across the stage to three looming blacked out doors. You will find a lucky bachelor or bachelorette dying for the opportunity to win a date with you. This is already a million times better than the online dating. Dating slog? Dating slog? I would have said dating that, but okay. I never heard that word before. That's new. We introduce our mystery dates and you have the opportunity to get to know each one a little better. And at the end of our show, we'll ask you, Jordan, if you're ready to make that date. And you and whoever you choose will win all expenses paid night at New York's most exclusive new restaurant, Clutch. Oh. Let me open up my bag. Let me open up my purse. <laughs> it's my purse. I don't know you. That place has a wait list for their wait list. So Jordan, are you ready to play? Am I ready? Bring on the romance. I was born for this. I just came out the out out out, out the womb just knowing. <laughs> I got my game face on and I'm racing to go. Raring to go. I mean, these words. I think it's because I don't got my glasses. That's the spirit. I can tell you in it to win it. Well, let's keep our contestants wait. Well, let's not keep our contestants waiting. It's time to meet today's three lovely bachelors and bachelorette. Okay. Carson gestures to the doors again, still shrouded in shadow. The heart starts to race with anticipation. From the cozy depths of the void itself, bachelor number one. A light blinks on behind the door label one, and you're able to make out the hulking silhouette of the contestant behind it. What? <laughs> I mean, I mean, monsters need love too, I guess. For sure, monsters need love too. Don't act like <laughs> monsters need love. I mean, hey. Just don't do it. Like, you might just might have a menacing uh, 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 face or whatever, you know? But you got heart. I respect that. I gotta get used to that. 
follows out the way you ain't gonna hurt. It's kind of like it's kind of like it's kind of like the ASMR. But seriously, monsters need love too. Monsters need love too. But I'm trying to say is, uh What I was trying to say is. <laughs> Oh, it's about my ASMR. <laughs> uh, ASMR dating role play. And I was playing the one with the um, Hero Academia, the hero who had basically like a killer whale. The killer whale? Yes, a killer whale face and whatnot. And he was talking about how he, he really just like a, you know, he's a hero. He really, he really like, mm mm. And all that stuff. But instead, it's, what I'm trying to say is, he 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 loved my fucking nose, and I love his fucking face. So what is was it was really? Wait. <laughs> oh shit! Got the. Now I gotta learn that them that language too. God dang. I know this isn't about looks, but over six foot? I'm swooning already. <laughs> he, he, he love a giant, okay. <laughs> Bachelor number one enjoys long walks on the beaches of the River Styx, drinking pina coladas and getting caught in the acid rain. Is that so? I mean, he was fan of the long beast on the beat. Just watch out, Jordan. I hear that River Six is filtered with the bones of the dam. Gorgeous in the summertime, though. Well, I'm looking forward to getting to know Bachelor number one. And we're so glad to have you here today. Bachelor number two is a real queen bee, always ready to sting her competition. Oh. Again, a light clicks on revealing the silhouette of Bachelorette number two within the door frame. What kind of. Bitch. Bitch. What? Okay, Bachelor. At this point, I was okay with Bachelor number one being, being, being different, okay? Now, Bachelor number two, okay, at this point. At this point, <laughs> like they get 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 talent hands over here. Probably might you see like nice body though, nice body. Like can't 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 can see her body, but talent hands, talent hands, talent hands. Talon Claws. Okay. Ooh, I love to get the buzz on her. She sounds like the feisty type. No, Jordan, no. She enjoys snacking on honey and causing a little trouble. I love a good honeycomb. Well, that's interesting because have a sweet tooth myself. Love to get into a bit of trouble. Need a bit of sting in the partner. Not a bit of, not a bit of sting. Oh! Oh! My, my hoe. <laughs> Maybe you two can find a favorite new honey spot together. Ooh, honey. <laughs> Probably we could get into that over dinner in a nice Chiante. 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 And last but not least, the original jack of all trades, Bachelor number three. The door labeled three illuminates, revealing the silhouette behind. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> that's what it, 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 that
Please hope you can speak my language at least. Oh. Oh, thank God. I think my mic was muted or something. Can you hear me? Can y'all hear those noises? It sounds like, it sounds horrible. Hello? Uh-oh. Looks like bachelor number three might be feeling nervous with all the cameras. Can we give him a round of applause to calm his nerves? Don't worry, bachelor number three. I get what it's like to be nervous. Nervous, aren't you? Can you see them? The creatures? Bachelor number three, don't be rude. Creatures, what an awful way to talk about your castmates. But I, I'm not sure that was very polite, bachelor number three. And besides, you signed a contract to be here, so let's move along, shall we? Our final contestant is just a regular Joe, but he's got a heart full of gold. Okay. He's the sort of guy who will give you the shirt off his back and maybe the golf clubs in his trunk, too. You don't have to do all that. But I, I appreciate that you do it, though. I just feel like, when, when, do, when, does, when, when does it, the lines draws? people take advantage of that okay that's all I have to say about that that's all the f expression I will say <sighs> as long as you got a got a good driver in that in, in, in his glove compartment I don't even golf. Yeah, why you lying on bachelor number three? Don't be so modest. I sure you tear up the turf. Now that our bachelors have been introduced and Jordan has gotten to hear from each of them, let's get to know our lovely contestant, Jordan, a little better. What do you say, folks? Okay. I thought it was someone asking the question. Oh, come on now. Jordan was fair as fair. Tell us something about you. Anything. Well, I'm just your typical kid, but I think I can come up with something good. A fun fact about me is I'm a serial romantic. Carson's eyes widen as collective gas rips through the audience. And up the blush. Never been kissed? But you're so gorgeous, Jordan. How is that possible? I guess I've just been waiting for the right moment. The right person? Well, the right person's out there somewhere. I'm sure of it. In fact, I bet they're in this room with I bet they're in this room with us now. All right, Jordan. In this next round, I'll be reading you one fact about each of our contestants. We asked our contestants for the wildest, craziest facts they could think of. And it'll be up to you to try to pair each fact with a contestant. I do my best, Carson. Perfect. First act. I bend it off the head of every lover I ever had. I bend off the head of every lover I ever had. Yeah, 
That's queen behavior if I ever heard it. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Nice one, Jordan. That's correct. Bachelorette number two, tell us what do you do with the bodies after? No, 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 what she's saying is, I don't worry about the bodies. They just, they just, they don't matter to me. Y'all put them to sleep. That's all it is. <laughs> Fascinating. I had no idea there were so many uses. Okay, next fact. I fall asleep every night to a sleep machine that plays the screams of the soul. It's like, read. Bachelor number one, and he looks like the sweet, the type with a super sensitive side. Not a sweet sensitive side. Not a sweet sensitive side. Look how sweet sensitive side it is. Like, oh, I remember all the songs my dad. Like, up. I guess. I mean, if you still look at the look, at the point, if really look at the love, I'll oh, buy all me. How do you collect all those greens? Listen, you must be the broke ghost. You know how they be saying, come on. You be sucking souls out here and some cats and shit. Like, what kind of... <laughs> like, this is in my head. You know, it's a Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Your soul is mine. Like, bitch, I am done. I am done. I cannot. This is hilarious. Huh. Wish we had that kind of technology on this plane of existence. <laughs> Carson's just like, he, he just gonna go ahead. Our final fact of the night, folks. I didn't get my driver's license until I was 22. Bachelor number three. Let me guess. An East Coaster, huh? That's why you guessed me. Not because, oh, I don't know. I'm the only one with composable thumbs. That's a talent. So am I wrong? No. But in the, my defense, the questionnaire was not clear on what kind of thing they were looking for. That's right, Jordan. Bachelor number three is our late driver. Okay, congratulations, Jordan, for getting all three correct. You won that special bonus prize. Ooh, okay. A surprise, a surprise. Producer rolls out a card with three items in it under silver domed lids. What can I say? I guess I'm just observant. Each of our contestants has selected a special personal item for you, so you can always remember your experience. That's so sweet. All for me. A wise and mean. Okay, monkey ball. A spit. A piece of pizza. Okay, but pizza is good. Let me talk about actual pizza. Thank you very much. Please. Pepperoni. The worst. Hell, put, put, put garlic, how did it garlic, alley on site, sauce. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. I like that wise. I'm gonna go with the fresh one. I'm gonna go with the fresh one. I'm gonna go with the fresh I got enough sticks, okay. The sticks is only gonna break my bones. <laughs> one by one. We already left lifted it up. Oh, a memento of one of his favorite kills. Thank you. From bachelorette number two, a branch from a millennia old cypress tree from our homeland. Oh, okay. well. 
I'll, I'll, I'll take the, 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 the mini, the, the mini with me. Oh, okay, that's the mini, oh, like, that's, that's before my, my time, babe. At least, uh, at least, at least it's hard. And from bathroom number three, a piece of keychain. Which is equally sentimental as those other things. It's from the restaurant I work at. Thank you, all of you. I'll cherry these forever. Final round of our game is where our contestants get deep. Oh, no, he deep, 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 deep. Get deep. Jordan, this is your chance to ask our bachelors and bachelorettes. Any question your heart desires, big or small? Anything? This should be good. That's the spirit. Now then, let's see what's hidden beneath the surface of Bachelor Number One. I haven't been able to glean too much from Bachelor Number One so far. I better think of a meaningful question. You lean forward, eager to get a better look at the mystery bachelor's face. First, urges the bachelor to answer your question. Bachelor number one, what's your ideal date? There are This sounded to me like moonlit stroll on the beach. A wild night on the town. A wild night on the town. A wild night on the town. What? A wild night on the town. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, a moonlit stroll on the beach. A moonlit stroll on the beach. Or a luxurious candlelit dinner. I would think... I would think Wild Night on the Town, or, but most like I would think go with this. Oh, that sounds dreamy. I could just imagine the waves crashing against the shore, the sand between our toes. Oh. Maybe a little romance under the stars. gaze at the silhouette behind door number one wandering dreamily if this might be the man for you and for a moment forgetting the game show around you don't go exchanging vows on us yet jordan we still got a game to play now on to bachelor number two bachelor number two if you could have any superpower what would it be buzz Oh, what I heard is she already will have power of mind control because she's really me, right? And she's a beast, so she already will have the power of flight. <laughs> so look, I'll just be observing at this point. I was just I'm just thinking common sense and probably the invisibility there. Oh, the things I could do if I were invisible. <laughs> Maybe even a little mischief. Making mischief. Oh. Despite the connection you felt with Bachelor number one, Bachelorette number two definitely is piquing your interest. Well, that's sure to make for a memorable day. Now on to Bachelor number three. Change one last time as you turn your attention to the final bachelor. 
He leaned forward, eager to get a better look at it. Uh, bachelor number three. Where'd he go? After squinting for a moment, you find bachelor number three's silhouette behind the door, cowering over in a corner of, at the frame. Please get me out of here. Looks like bachelor number three is feeling confident. Unfortunately, bachelor number three, Jordan is the one who decides who they be leaving with tonight. Though I do appreciate that confidence, I'm gonna have to throw you a hardball question if you want to date with me. I don't know how you expect me to answer with all of this going on, but if it gets me out of here alive. Bachelor number three, tell me. What are you looking for in a partner? Bachelor number three breathes heavily into his microphone like he's trying not to hyperventilate. I was about to say, I'm, I'm, gonna take, I'm holding back a little bit. I just want someone who's honest and loyal and funny and human. You know, the basics. That's a good foundation for a relationship. Okay. Awesome. So that was the right answer. I can go. Behind the screen. Bachelor number three shifts from foot to foot, agitated, like he's looking for any escape route out of here. Well, it looks like dear Bachelor number three here is just as ready to find out the result of tonight's game as we are. When we come back, Jordan will finally get to meet them. Mystery date. Stick around, you don't want to miss it. Lights get low and dramatic as the three doors hiding the three bachelors become illuminated. Before we reveal the bachelors, each one will have the one last opportunity to convince you to choose them with a heartfelt statement. It's already going to be hard to choose. Your know, audition tape, how lonely you've been since your last destruction of an entire ecosystem. Oh my gosh. Why don't you tell Georgia what this date will mean to you? believe you've been through all that. That's um, thank you for sharing that with us. Well, he probably wasn't even like, it sounded like he really was trying to destroy the ecosystem. Thank you indeed. Beautiful words that would be hard to follow. Let's see what Bachelorette number two has to say. He always meant for something more. I need to hear what she has to say. She was so hard to understand. have a sense of humor about it. I love that in a potential partner. Gotta laugh. Gotta laugh. Huh? I mean, that's your mistakes. <laughs> a beautiful sentiment that will be hard to follow. Let's see what Bachelor number three has to say. Bachelor number three, we know you're a waiter. Where do you imagine life taking you beyond that? I'm honestly not convinced I will have a life after this. Don't worry, Bachelor number three. Even if you're not Jordan's pick, I know love is out there for you somewhere. Especially for a guy sweet as sweet and as emotional as you. Bachelor number three sniffles behind the door, curled to the ball. 
and your heart swells as the raw passion of this man. No, baby, he over here saying you're having anxiety attack. And he ain't just worried about the fellows and getting eaten alive. Like, nigga, see like, what? First of all, if we're gonna have a contract like this, we need to see have some stipulations. Like people, uh, like people under like are, are gonna react to stress differently. We're gonna have react to stress differently. So we don't need people sitting here hyperbilling and, and having issues, like a whole bunch of different issues on on, on scene. Like we're not gonna have that. Because if you're not gonna see them, if you compensate them, I don't care. If you're not gonna compensate them for all that. Especially very well, especially if, they, if you know, knowing that you're gonna sit here and all that. <laughs> Compensate me. Compensate me. I know that's right. Well, I think we have all our fingers crossed for you, Bachelor Number Three. Now, you met your contestants, you played our game. With that, it's time to reveal our lucky bachelors and bachelorette. And for Jordan to make that day! Are you ready, Jordan? Am I ready? Really hope so. We'll see how, how they look. I'm not sure what to expect, you know? It's all so surreal. with excitement. It sounds so loud. It draws out the music. Well, no matter what, I'm sure you enjoy your evening. Isn't that right, Jordy? After all, these three are all beautiful on the inside. Yeah. I'm as ready as I'll ever be, Carson. Let's do this. Behold, our first contestant, the mysterious. A shade stalker. A shade stalker. their penis so it's like yeah like okay okay fine that's fine with me that'll be my fuck, my freaking uh be on, i'll be on the show for that well hello handsome you certainly live up to the name <laughs> i knew you'd be my type <laughs> i mean look at you so dark and brooding. Oh wow, you're even more handsome than you sounded behind that door. And now our second contender, the Enmatic. Drone Queen. I was, I was over here. Was like le legit. This is what legit was. What I was imagining. What, what was gonna come out? Oh, number two. I thought you gonna have some. You know, some, I was thinking like this is an actual like. Like we're gonna see B. Like we're gonna see giving, like, B, like queen, queen Bism giving Pokemon. Um, honey. You know the Pokemon. I, I, it's it's something with the honey. Honey, with the, I'll leave it right there in the edited version. Point is, I was seeing that, I was imagining that, I was thinking the the talons were gonna be gold, with gold talons on her hands, gonna wear all this gold on her body, and and just just she was the body was giving fierce. This is giving like this is giving like she 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 came. 
she came back from the dead. Like, like she, she, she didn't even came back from the dead. She was like, she, see, like, like it's like for all for, for how you see here, be maiden. I should, I should not have you be looking like this. Coming on it, coming on here. Can't, can't, can't even come, come clean and irrespectable. Like shade stalker. Come through, looking like this. It's not like she bad looking. It's just like it ain't like she bad looking. It's just I was imagining something totally different, something totally different in my head. That's for sure. Okay. I hope that wasn't meant for me. Wow. You're very bright. I don't think I'll have any trouble keeping track of you in a crowded restaurant. I bet we'd be the buzz of the town. <laughs> I bet we'd be the buzz of the town together. At last, and certainly not least, the ever charming. Oh my God. What are those things? Audience laughs as Daniel tries to hide behind the door, peering out at the bizarre creatures on stage. Are those things real? What the hell is that? How is nobody freaking out? Freaking out about what? I don't blame you for being scared. I'd be scared too. I bet those guys are pretty intimidated from behind that door. Intimidating? That's one way to put it. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'm not afraid of you. I hope I shouldn't be afraid of you. Even then, if I'm gonna I'm face my fears, bitch. <laughs> I ain't afraid to fight back. That's not what I'm worried about. Daniel edges carefully out from behind the door into it to the edge of the stage. The security ushers back onto the spotlight. And there you have it, Jordan. Three el el eligible ba bachelors, all vying for the chance to take you on the dream date of a lifetime. This is so surreal. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Once and for all, to win a romantic dinner for two at New York's hottest new restaurant completely free of charge. Ooh, free of charge, bitch. Free of charge. We get hope. We get every fuck. We get everything, bitch. We get everything. We get everything. We get everything. I don't give a fuck. We get all. You said free of charge. Give me, look, give me, uh, give me everything. Give me everything that's on the menu. Give me it all. That's what the fuck I asked for. You said free of charge. Everything is that. Everything is on. On is on. On the black car. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean a brag. I be like, put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. Yeah, I'm stacking up like this ass. Ugh. Ugh. Who will it be? Who will it be? Ooh. Yeah, uh, 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 it's given species. It's given species. 
it's definitely giving species. It's giving species. You ever seen it in the sci sci-fi fi film? Mm -hmm. Even though that that was still it's a great movie, but all I'm saying is still it's giving that. It's definitely giving that. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I don't want. Mm -mm. Like, I get why he missed that. But he said, I spend my evening alone. Hey, nothing wrong spending 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 alone. But hey, I got the diamonds. I really want to. I want to. I want to spend time with. I'm sorry. I got to spend time with the Shay Stalker. Boo, you whore. Oh. Oh. Not sorry, though. Oh! But I'm gonna choose Batch because I, I wanted to choose Batch number one and Batch number three. I still want to I want to see Batch number three too. I can't wait to see what kind of mischief we'll get up to together. Oh gosh, hope that means he's happy. I hope he's very happy indeed. The Shay Stalker steps forward. His long, spiny fingers reaching for you. You recall. But he only wants to take your hand. Oh. At least I hope that's what he wants. Oh well, one way to find out. Time to face my fears and jump right in. As he pulls you closer, the shade stalks his face, splits into a wide grin, and you can't help but giggle at his happiness. I know there's somebody in the audience right now. There's somebody in the audience right now. It probably would be my ass. It would have been my ass. It probably would have been me. They just like, they like, they just like, they just here, they just here for the check. <laughs> it is just like, I get it. Yeah. I'll be like, I get it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Another love connection made on Make That Date. Now you two lovebirds, get out of here. Well, I wonder if we, ooh, 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 they gonna give, are they gonna give us a, are they gonna give us a, a love student in this one? I mean, I'm having so much fun. It's like we're on a real date. He's like, yes, we are on a real date. I'm glad to see you for the first time. We hold up two wine glasses, one filled with champagne and one filled with blood. Cheers, Shade Cheers, Stalker, to our first date. New beginnings. I can't believe I made it this far. I never would have found you without Make That Date. Now on, we'll make all of our own dates. Your main dish is a ride, and while Shay's and Stalker steak is cooked to exact specification, maximum prayer, you realize a 
I'm so sorry, but I asked for my steak cooked medium. This seems a little rare for my taste. Apologies, I'll take this back to the chef right away in. Oh! His words are cut off as the shade stalker strikes out with a fearsome war, devouring the waiter in one go. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta be better with the communication. No, we gotta. Uh, that, that's what really matters. Communication, communication, communication really matters at this point. We can't be just be eating the, just anybody out of nowhere now. <laughs> like shit, we was <laughs> like especially, especially knowing what the shade, what the shade walker capabilities is. It should be able to at least be able to have the ability to use his uh, powers to communicate what he's trying to say to you. Okay, okay, okay. I know what I'm talking about. Over here giving giving power powers and specs and uh, cues. <laughs> but it's all for you, baby. They did you wrong. <laughs> he doesn't seem sorry at all. But he did save me from a lot of awkwardness. I guess it's just his way of showing he cares. Another waiter scrambles out from the back of a mop, hastily attacking the floor where the previous waiter stood moments before. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Our apologies. We'll have another steak out to you right away. Properly, please. You don't want to have that issue. Jay Walk, Jay Stalker, don't eat people, but. I'm glad you're so protective. Just looking out for me, aren't you, Sage Stalker? I know you don't mean any harm, but it's important we find a way to communicate, right? So that we both can enjoy our time together. Around me to never get between you and dinner. Oh, I feel it the same way. Dinner and dick. Dinner and dick. Dinner and dick. Probably a good toy, too. You, you and the Shade Stalker finish your meal peacefully and leave the restaurant deep into the night. Instead of going home, the Shade Stalker takes you to one of his favorite brooding, 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 brooding locations. A scenic overlook with incredible views of the valley below. Wow, the view up here is amazing, isn't it? Lean against the railing as the Shade Stalker wraps his arms around you. Lean close. I'm so glad I decided to take a chance on that dating show. Just think if I had it. I would have missed out on you. I can't believe I ever doubted this was a good idea. You tilt your hair back, staring up at the stars. In the moonlight, the shade stalkers his essence glows even more brightly. I'm so lucky I found you, shade stalker. What about you? Where would you be right now if I hadn't chosen you back on that stage? Shade Stalker pulls away from you and gestures down the hill. You can't just make out a small flickering light in this distance. Is that the portal to the Shadow Room? The Shade Stalker takes a step forward, then turns and rests his hand on the railing. You can tell he's trying to communicate something important. He points down the hill, then makes a sweeping motion with his hands, as if to say, far away. You'll be lonely? Is that what you're trying to tell me? He, ta 
take a step forward, reaching out to touch his arm. You don't have to worry about this, Shay Stalker. I'm not going anywhere. Lean back to assess his hulking arm. They mostly a wisp and shadow. No, it's made of the biceps, biceps, and, 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 and a whole bunch of people. doesn't seem to understand. He leans in closer. His mouth wide. Oh, I said, mouth wide. Mouth wide. Mouth open wide. Until his face is so close to yours that you can feel his cool breath on your cheek. I thought he was going to eat me, but... I thought he was going to eat me. I thought he was going to eat me. But this is nice, I think. Tentatively, tentatively, you press your lips against his. At first, he doesn't respond, but then you feel his mouth curve into a smile. That's the response I was hoping for. You deepen the kiss. Tasting the cold sweetness of his breath on your tongue. His fingers tingle, tangle in your hair. Pulling you closer until there's no space left in between you. When you finally pull away, Shay stops his face splits into a wide grin. And he waves his arms in the air as to say hooray. The Shay Stalker pulls you into his arms, holding you tight. As he does, first rays of the sun up here on the horizon. Oh wow, look at that! He turns to the shade stalker, only to find him starting to smolder in the sunlight, whistle of a shadow frame rippling into the wind. Shade stalker, what's happening? Sunlight, why didn't you say anything? Dancing around frantically, eyes landing on the portal to the shadow realm in the distance. You start to heave toward it, but he stops you. What are you doing? We can make it. He puts his hands on your shoulders, stilling your movements and stoops to meet you eye to eye. Just 
Oh, here we really be living by coastal bitch. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. After everything we went through to be together. Sink to your knees, tears streaming down in your face. As the last shade saw the stalker is swallowed by the light. back in and play third date. Yes, Daniel. I can't wait to get to know you better, Daniel. Wait, you're picking me? But why? Well, sure. You may not be as traditionally handsome as Shade Stalker. Or the drones, Queens is one of a kind energy. Yeah. But I have a feeling you have a lot more going on inside. So, what do you say? Will you join me on this romantic dinner? Wait, so I'm not going to die? And I get to go to a restaurant and be the one who gets the food? Not just brings it? I would love to. Aww. Me in the background. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Another love connection made on Make That Date! Now you two lovebirds, get out of here. This is lovely. And long overdue, I can't remember the last time I was in a restaurant and didn't have to work. Then we should definitely have a toast. What, what makes us happy? After all, life too short to spend it doing anything less. You clink your glasses together. To new experiences. To new experiences. You spend the evening getting to know Daniel better, laughing over a shared love of old movies and commiserating about bad dates. When the main course arrives, can't help but notice Daniel's uncertainty. He's never been so many. He never seen so many forks and knives before. Just start from the outside and work your way in. It's not that simple. This is like cutlery minefield. Here, use this as an example. That helps a lot. Oh, here's crashing my head because I'm like, who's crashing? That way you only have to worry about one set of silverware. That sounds like a great idea. I glass someone's is this decisive. I'm still trapped looking at the menu. Why don't you 
let me order for you. I feel like I got to know you pretty well back on the show. You think so? Okay, money where your mouth is. What do you think I like best? Hmm, what do you think that man you would like best? But the way you look. I feel like he's a pasta kind of guy. I would never really give, make some, I would never sit here and get somebody to unless you want to try what I want, you know, unless you try, want to try what I like, okay, that's good. And, and I'll try what you like, that kind of thing, you know, that is it, right? But, I say get whatever you want, because if, if they all paying for it, you, get, you can get all three. You don't have to decide on what one, just get all three. Point to the pasta on the menu. You seem like the kind of guy who appreciates a little comfort. And what's more comforting than a big bowl of pasta? Making my mouth water. When the waiter comes to take your orders, you confidently tell him what you want. You deep in conversation when the waiter returns. You wouldn't notice him at all if you were waiting for the sudden clatter to place as the tray slips in his grasp. Jordan, a boozier carrying a tray of dishes bumps into your table, sending a cascade of planks tumbling towards you. Watch out! I got this. In one swift move, Daniel springs from his chair, snatching the tray. Snatches the tray and saves you from a drenching of hot food. How did you do that? Years of practice. You learn how to move fast when you don't want to get burned or fired. I can't believe you saved us from that. You really are a hero. I'll thank Daniel. Love the kiss. You lean across the table and give Daniel a soft, lingering kiss. If I had known that all it took to get a kiss from you was a tray of spilled food, I would have done it sooner. Just we, we, we don't even make <laughs> What well, you say, I'm, I'm, I'm easy pickings. I'm a ho ho. Oh, I'm a ho ho, everybody. I'm a ho ho. ran through and ho I ran through and ho <laughs> ran through ho <laughs> if I know that all it took to spill that food earlier huh Catch me on FaceTime. <laughs> Don't worry, I still have plenty more kisses to give. After a delicious meal and a few glasses of wine, Daniel offers to walk you home, and you leave the restaurant together hand in hand. I can't believe I'm walking a gorgeous person like you. Gorgeous. 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 Gorgeous person like you home. It feels like a dream. As you walk through the city streets, you can't help but still glance at Daniel. The way the moonlight catches his eyes, the way his hand feels in yours. It all feels so right. You know, I walked this route a hundred times, but tonight it feels different, more magical. That's because it is magical. We're making our own magic right now. I like the sound of that. 
making magic with you is the best kind of magic. You stop to admire a row of blooming flowers in front of someone's brownstone. Daniel crashes down and plucks a small bouquet of wild flowers. Oh, you real bad. Oh, you real bad. You real bad, but still so sweet. I know I didn't have to. I wanted to. You and Daniel walk the rest of the way to your apartment still hand in hand. As you approach your front door, as you approach, as you approach your front door, you feel a flutter of nervous energy. I don't quite want this night to end. Then let's not end it. We can sit on your stoop and talk until the sun comes up. I had an amazing time tonight. You made me feel more alive than I have in years. But there's something you need to know about me. Something I never told anyone before. Okay. What is it? You can tell me anything. Daniel takes a deep breath and unzips his skin suit, revealing a terrifying monster underneath. I'm not like other people, Jordan. I'm a monster. Literally. Oh my God. I got nervous about the show, so I got this disguise. I'm sorry for lying to you. Well, then, what, why you was making? I guess he was. Then why, yeah, yeah, you lied. You was over here making. I was over here getting scared of the other creatures. But damn, Carson, you you had me on a dating show. That was different. But dang. Really, really, I guess for him, he really is nervous about showing his form. Okay. I understand if this is too much for you. If you can't accept me for who I am. But I literally accept this, the Shade Stalker's appearance. As long as you hung below. I always just say that. You'd be so, I'd be so mean. <laughs> Not really, I'm just saying like, like what it is. I got the whole munchies. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope after seeing the other contestants on the show, reach out and caress Daniel's scaly skin. It feels strange under your fingertips, but also right. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just tell me that you won't run away screaming. I 
mean, honestly, I'm not gonna run. Away. I ain't gonna run away screaming. I'm just more shocked about your appearance. But can't you even talk to me like this? You gonna understand? Literally, what I said was, what what I say? If we communicate, bitch, we, we we communicate very very understandably. I would never. I think you're amazing. No matter what you look like. I love the real you, Daniel. You have no idea how much that means to me, Jordan. You take Daniel's hand and pull him through the door and into your apartment. You can't wait to spend the rest of the night together in more ways than one. Now, 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 and then, and then number three, bachelor number three. That took a twist of events for sure. Wow, just wow. But still sweet, but still better than than the ending one. But they could have. Was it the shadow realm? Or him as possible? <laughs> we'll come back. I'll come back. I'll come back. Another like come back. Um. Uh, in, in, in the normal realm later, not super later. <laughs> and, uh, the last ending four. Let's see. Look at the audience. Is <laughs> this, this, this one the, the one the one person like? Right. That's <laughs> Don't think that's ever happened before. Sorry. Done. Folks, well, this could be a make that date first. Don't get me wrong. I love meeting all these incredibly attractive singles with absolutely no red flags whatsoever. I don't know if you've seen the online dating game lately, Carson, but... It's bleak out there. It's shitty out there. But when I really think about what I need, this isn't it. What are you looking for, Jordan? What I'm looking for? I need time for myself. I've been so busy lately, I haven't had a minute to breathe. I need to take care of myself before I can even think about taking care of someone else. That's right, Jordan. You can't pour from an empty cup. What if you can't always see it? Well, like, that's true too, but at the end of the day, we, we need to see and understand that everybody not gonna be per per perfect, perfect. What What is perfect? What is perfect? What is it? Because if, if I have to sit here and love you when you like all the way together, then maybe that's that's not love. Maybe that's just only loving one side, one side. And I ain't talking about like, I ain't talking about toxic relationships. I'm talking about this like real authentic, real authentic like um, connections. Um, okay, okay. My head issue for all that. Although I do wish you come to the shocking tear jerking conclusion before signing up for the show. Don't worry, Carson. I still plan to give your show its big twist. So you're picking a bachelor after all? Nope. But I was promised the greatest night of my life and I'm going to get it. I studied the fine print in my contract. And I know the producers owe me a di dinner, no matter what. I know that's right, bitch. You're going to get that fucking dinner. You better read your contract, boo. You better. You better. You better. I know that's right. A short while later, you find yourself doing a long... Dining alone in a private upscale restaurant. 
You dig into your main course for seared Abby tuna steak. I eat tuna steak with wasabi crust and oh, delight. Oh my God, this is amazing. I don't even care that I'm eating a little alone. In fact, I think I might prefer it this way. I can meet my email and peace without having to make small talk. You take a sip of your wine and sigh in contentment. You never felt more relaxed. I should have done this ages ago. Who needs a date when you have a gourmet meal all to yourself? Meals. But a plural at the S. I'm glad I went on the show. I never would have gotten to experience this otherwise. I always wanted to try this place, but I could never afford it on my own. I guess there are some perks to being on a reality show. Reality show. Reality show. You smile to yourself as you take another bite of your meal. Who needs a day when you can have gourmet food like this instead? You're so caught up in the flavors of your food that you don't notice the waiter has returned. So you're enjoying the food mix. Uh, you look up and your eyes meet his. Jordan, it's so good to see you again. Daniel, what are you doing here? I uh, gotta get my shift covered. Daniel pours you another glass of champagne. His hand steady as he fills it to the brim. Is there anything else I can get for you? Yeah, bring me another lobster tail. This on the producers is tab, and I'm going to make the most, most, most of it. That ending was cool. At least we still got to see Daniel. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah, I like that. I love that. Yeah. Great, great, great book. I love that it had a different endings. I bet this, I don't, I'm not going to look for the ending. So I, I said I wanted to make my own choices. I made my own choices. Like, Y'all can see somebody else can play, do all that at this point. I'm sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I'm going to chill out. Probably see what I can do on this late night instead of being cooped up in the house. So take care and stay vigilant.